Yo, what's going on? It's your boy DJ Caveman. And DJ I Monkey. We're back for another episode of the Saturday Conversation. This week we inside the Wood Green Studios. Yep, back where it started. All from the beginning. Yep. Special guest in the house today, this week. <laughs> Missy Wills, Sage Nutrition, Fitness Guru, uh, Workout Queen. Yes. Power Lifter. <laughs> yes. She'll fucking slap the shit out of you because she does some mad weights. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then throw you, she'll throw you over a table because she's strong. But she's little. <laughs> yeah, but you see that, that just saying that shit up up front is like premeditation. You get more time for premeditation. Just don't fuck around. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Always be first. Yeah, yeah. We got a we got not so silent producer in the building. Yes, indeed. What up, not so silent producer? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, she got the head nod like we <laughs> on camera nod, again. Right? Yeah, like. <laughs> Yeah, she gave us the head nod. Yo, shit. So, uh, what's was good, man? How was yeah. the week? Uh, you know, just chilling. You know, episode 58, I was going to say we're on the Jack Lambert. I was going to talk about the Miles Garrett shit. But my week, though, overall, it was all right. Just had to deal with some bullshit with my son and his school. But the principal, the vice principal, like, he really worked with me and he worked with us and got it pretty much clear. But what Was he fighting in school? Uh, long story short, uh, they had these two boys that wanted to try to jump him. And but he hit him with the kung fu. Nah, <laughs> but nah, it's a long story short. But yeah, he didn't get beat up, did he? No, because if he got beat up, we gonna have to put him in some jujitsu or something. No, nah, if he get beat up, he knows when he gets home, he's gonna get beat up even more. Like, yo, you can't be getting beat up on them streets. <laughs> yeah, but you can't beat him up if you didn't teach him how to not get beat up. Well, I should have beat him up in the first place. But no, that's how you get wrapped up by DCYF And I'm not fitting to deal with DCYF On the kind of, yo, I'm just making my son tough Yo, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make my son No pussy out on these streets <laughs> His father's from Brooklyn, what? You gotta represent Nah, I can't do that, it's a different day You can't do that shit So no, nah, overall, just you Just let him, let him take his shots Well, I keep telling my son to do his push-ups and sit-ups In the morning time, like, so that way He's not making himself the lame fruit on, in, in class, you know there's always that one lame dude in school like yo this dude's a herb like yo and then you have a bad day so you just push this kid into the locker because you're not going to push the other kid because the other kid will slap you in the mouth and your day's going to get worse so you just push the other kid it's just simple high school and middle school shit that nowadays is bullying and you're hurting kids feelings it's like yo toughen up little kid man like I don't know. I mean, I mean, we already discussed how I was kind of the bully. <laughs> yeah, and I, I was, I was cool with you. So right. it's like, yo, I'm not getting bullied no matter how never, you shake it. And I'm the short guy in the class. I never thought of myself as a bully until I realized how many people like I like abused physically. Well, <laughs> so looking back and counting and like, verbally, like, damn, I was a fucking dickhead. <laughs> and, I, and I'm sitting on the sideline, like, damn, yo, you should have known up front, like, don't fuck with D, like, yo, just don't fuck around. So. Yeah. So what I was I do, what's his name Jabril. Yo, beat his damn, ass on a regular basis. Damn, we're saying his whole name. Yeah, I'm gonna say his name, Jabril. I don't even know his last name. I do, but I'm not gonna say. Uh, it. Out of respect, you guys, ever reach back to you? Nah, 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 nah. Nobody wants that smoke. <laughs> no, I hope. I, no, I hope. Well, everything is. See, the problem with Home Dude was is that people used to always make fun of him based on the name I used to call him because he used to live two houses away from me. So I used to call him Alf because motherfucker looked like Alf. And, so, like, and kind of like Homer Simpson, but he was like Alf's color. Yeah, he was. He was brown <laughs> like, like Alf. Like he was pure Alf. His hair and his skin were like the same. Yo, shape. he was, was like hair- weird. <laughs> he was a hairless Alf. So either way. Um, it got to the point where other people started picking up on it and they started calling him Alf, but they was malicious with it. So he started getting hurt feelings. Yo, quit it. Yo, quit it. So I would step in and try to like stand up for him and then he'll flip on me like, yo, I don't need your help. Yo, fuck you. I'm like, yo, B, like, yo. So either way, I, I hope all is well with him. I beat that kid solidly for like two years. Yeah, I know. I know. You used to fuck love beating up on him. Because he was a fucking piece of shit. But nah, because anyway. nah, he used to call it upon himself. Like, yeah, he, he would talk to, wild shit. Like, he used to do shit just to call it upon himself. Like, yo, don't do that. And then you don't get beat up. Like, that's all it was. And that's the same kind of shit that I keep trying to teach my son. Don't be that dude. Like, yo, don't be the dude that I used to pick on. Like, come on, man. Like, you're making me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, I used to pick on kids like you. Yeah, come on, man. Like, oh. Either way, how was your week? Oh, man. My week was great <laughs> until... Uh, <laughs> My week was great until last night when I fell at bowling and shit. Oh, damn. I fucking rocked at bowling. Yeah, let's talk about that and um, not me having to go into child yeah, teacher nah, conference. I, uh, <laughs> I got these little, like, bowling booty things, so when you're walking around the bowling alley, you don't get, 
like shit on the bottom of your bowling shoes. Oh, so you keep them crisp? Keep them crispy for the slide so action. Really fancy shoes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they're not they're professional yes, shoes. Um, Respect bowling shoes. And, uh... <laughs> I forgot to take that shit off, and I'm always like conscious about you know taking it off because I'm like, yo, I remind other people, yo, don't forget to take the booty off. You don't want to fuck yourself up. Mm. <laughs> and I forgot to take my booty off. Uh, but I realized it as I was going into like my my full swing, like all the power. Uh, <laughs> the fulcrum uh, force. It's been described as it looks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It looked like I got shot. There was one dude who said, he said, oh, it just looked like somebody shot you on the lane play just to win your ball. It felt ugly. It was, a, it was a hard stop. Like a hard, like a hard stop. And I, I think I made like a weird noise too. And that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said, ooh. You always make a weird noise. I can just imagine. Do, do, do. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, I was one of those like, Because uh. <laughs> Because, you know, when I stopped, I'm I not, made. I'm, I made not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. No, I, was, I just laid there. I didn't try to jump up. I didn't try to save it. I didn't try to hop up like, huh, everybody, nobody saw everybody that, right? That? I was like the first dude to throw my, everybody was like still getting their balls and I was the first dude to throw my ball in practice oh. and I fucking went airborne and like the, the, the stop produced like one of those like, <laughs> and then I've hit the grip like knee, knee, hip, arm, shoulder. Uh-huh. My back uh, into the. Uh, I fell on the. On and and the, this bowling alley does not have this replay anyway. Uh, it's it's been recorded because it was like the. <laughs> Somebody's going to ask for it. I asked, I asked for it. I'm trying to wait to see if I can get it. They're, they're looking at it for insurance purposes. <laughs> <laughs> they'll make sure that they're off the hook first. <laughs> I'm going to have to sign a waiver. Wait, did he take his booties off? <laughs> his I'm sorry, right. I know some my booties are too. black too. And my shoes are black. So. Uh, like, but uh, people were coming up to him today. Mm-hmm. Like, they were like checking on me today. Like, you okay? <laughs> That's a good fall, right there. He's calling the lawyer on TV. <laughs> Boom, bam! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was ugly. Boom, bam! It was ugly. Uh, we, um, and Black Friday's around the corner. I don't know. And I'm gonna get paid. <laughs> Boom, bam! <laughs> nah, it was uh, it was a, it was a tough fall, and uh. <laughs> Oh man! Today my shit hurts, man. My knees a little swollen. Yeah. Um, I just laid there for a minute because I was like, "Fuck it, I fell. I'm gonna just wait till people come over to make sure I'm not dead. You're gonna have <laughs> unless somebody help me up because you don't want to fall. I'm old, man. Oh, you don't want to first. I'm too old to be falling down like that. You're not trying to hit the jackpot and get like fresh pineapple on the hand for Thanksgiving, B. Like I'm saying, <laughs> cash out, man. Cash out. First, warm, warm pineapple is gross. Well, okay. All that's right. why it doesn't belong on pizza. Well, oh, that, well, that it too. belongs on pizza. Yes. Okay. With pepperoni, not ham. I'm I'm more of a I'm more of a meatball <laughs> person, but okay, I'll give you that. That's but sweet, all that. spicy, yes. salty, yes. greasy. That's what I'm talking crust, about. Like chewy but crunchy on the bottom. Oh, perfect! Man. Perfect Ugh. combination of fantastic flavors. <laughs> High five! That's what we're talking about. I'm sitting at this table with <laughs> High five like the cassette. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sitting over here with two pineapple Hawaiian pizza like, loving. Fine. No Hawaiian. No nah, ham. No, nah, I'm not a ham guy. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that what's that? So an good. Italian Hawaiian? What is that? I don't know. I never had it until <laughs> I met my husband, Hawaiian. and I said the same I thing. Like, I'm not eating that. Yeah, Maybe because he's Because you know Italian. Italians always try to put their own flair on shit. You know, you can't <laughs> use the ham. You got to use the pepperoni and the capicola. You got to use the sausage. <laughs> you got to use the proper sausage. Uh, what? You know. <clears> you call this is just like Hawaiian, but the Italian version. You know, it's Hawaiian Italian. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Oh, go get your mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. East, <laughs> East Mediterranean. Huh? Yeah, something like that. Yo. Anyway, so yeah, I fucked myself up at the bone alley, and that was basically my week. Yeah, man. Damn. Uh, I got fucked up. Damn, fucked we could have cashed out, B, like I'm saying. Nah, it's just going to be funny, because I'm, I'm trying to get the video. Yeah. replace the cat meme. I can replace the cat meme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him and, and this is the moment when... Yeah, right? Like, like, you realize it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> It was at this point he realized he fucked up. <laughs> you know you done fucked up, right? <laughs> you forgot the booties. <laughs> I was I wasn't gonna say I was gonna say something, but this motherfucker always calling me out in my booty shit. So you know what? I'm gonna leave him in his booties. Let, 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 let's see what happens now. Let's see what happens when you leave your booties on, me. Yeah. Uh, thank God for CBD. Yeah, that's all. And uh, and the qualities of THC because. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? 
This is feeling, feeling wild rickety. See, but, this this is a prime moment for you to take a bath, an so Epsom salt saying. bath, there because you yeah, your legs are up. You can soak and you can massage your leg. Dude, you're still like, in this bath shit, man. Yo, baths are wonderful. Well, we'll buy you your own like bath mat to go inside. Yeah, well, take a fucking bath. The worst part is that I had a, I got a massage a few hours earlier, oh, so I was feeling man. nice and relaxed when I fell too. I probably would have tore something if I wasn't. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, it would have been a whole other. Conversation. Conversation be like, nah, I didn't have my booties right. I don't know who your lame man is, but yo, this shit was bad dry right here, yo. <laughs> and me, I used to be a pin set of mechanic, so I used to have to do the lanes. And I can imagine just being there, sitting there watching you, like, yo, yo, coughing up all my weed smoke. <laughs> Yo. They're, they're uh, <laughs> trying not to laugh too hard because everybody's like, "Yo, this motherfucker's high. Why he's laughing so hard?" I'm sure Yo, they're watching it. Move? I'm sure they. I'm sure that once they find it, they're gonna watch it like a thousand times. Oh yeah. alley, forwards, backwards. <laughs> yeah. This is a motion. This is right here. Really slip right here. Right here. Yeah. Look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> Yo. Yo, this is where they become like the Peyton Manning. <laughs> Uh, of the video film like yo 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 watch this watch this look at how his eyes just wide open after this one two <laughs> boom boom <laughs> your eyes yo <laughs> I can't imagine that shit uh, but you're alright that's why I'm laughing no nah, I'm good I'm good I like mean, cause if you would've told some shit I'd be like yo motherfucker you alright yeah all right. you good then you good laugh. then I'm gonna laugh <laughs> then you gonna laugh yeah cause if you were on the floor crying I tried to make a joke I was like damn for everybody watching it must have been funny as shit and the dude was like no we thought you really hurt yourself <laughs> I was like oh they're concerned about me I would've laughed and then I would've walked over laughing yo yeah once I once I see that you're okay then I could laugh because there was that but like if you were in wild pain and like a bone is sticking out I can't laugh uh, at that shit nah hell no but like, uh, well maybe like that's why nobody laughed because I, I was like oh shit uh, <laughs> oh god damn this is some bullshit and then I looked up and it's like everybody just looking at me and I was like oh son of a bitch so they probably thought I was like like screaming in pain but I was really just like disappointed <laughs> I was like, oh, I let down my whole family. I let the bowling alley. I'm the best bowler. Uh, uh, oh, they're rushing over. Shit. Yeah, and that'll be the one day, though, right? Because you're like, you're not going to get up fast enough, and it's going to be awkward because you're not sure if you're broken, and then uh, people are going to be trying to help you, and you're going to be trying to be like, get off me. I'm all right. I'm all right. Good. You take two steps and you fall down again. So I was like, let me just, let me just lay here. Oh, man. <laughs> the moral to the story is make sure you take your booties off uh, before you start bowling. Or just don't buy no booties for your shit, man. Mine came with the shoe. I'm going to write them a nasty letter and tell them they should not include these things in the boxes because oh, they're a danger to people. You know what they should do at the bowling alley? I'm a shoe. Next to no makes smoking, my storm? Who makes my they shoes? should have remove your booties. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Remove your booty. They have to have that sign above. Be because of people like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just for insurance purposes, they have to have the sign up now. <laughs> Remove your booties. No, I think they're. they're, they're we have I forget what kind. Yeah, Team Brunswick's. I'm, uh, I'm a Sue Brunswick. No, nah, man. Putting, putting dangerous things inside there. <laughs> Inside their shoe boxes without warning. Oh, you got to put a warning on the shoe now. They, they're going to listen to booties. the show and be like, yo, this motherfucker forfeited all of his rights. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what he was doing. Yeah, right? They're going to find this show for evidence and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, use this against you and shit. Yeah, what's, up with your, what's up with your Steelers, man? Also, episode 58, huh? The Jack Lambert, huh? So, Steelers, this is the difference between modern day roughness and... And back in the day roughness with, with football players. Cause back in the day, Jack Lambert and them and the Steelers, they used to really rough motherfuckers up. Nowadays, it's now the intimidation factor. And this is what Miles Garrett's been doing all year because this is not his first offense, right, for, for football and going the extra mile. It's the same thing that um Adamic and Sue used to do. Because I feel like football's about intimidation though. Yeah, and that's what that's exactly what he was fitting to do. Because number one, it was only eight seconds left on the clock. So you sacked him, and then you dragged him down a little bit extra. So, yeah, uh, Mason Rudolph got a little bit upset, and he was like, yo, the fuck you doing, man? Yo, why are you trying to style out? The game's over. It, it's not right. like, even if we score a touchdown, it's not going to be 14 points because Steelers right. lost by 14. By so, 14 it's, we're not, yeah. so it's like, yo, all this extra shit's not necessary, but 
I feel, I feel like Miles Garrett was rough with him, and then he retaliated with some roughness. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, oh, you really trying to do something? Yeah. And then he got hit with the homie don't play that yeah. shit with his own helmet. Fuck out of here. Hit you with your own helmet, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Hit, hit him with a bag of, like, a sock full of quarters and I shit. What if he screamed, it's the juggernaut, bitch. Oh, man. Hit you with your own suit. Oh, man. I, you know what? And I've been watching that on Disney Plus, and every time I see Juggernaut, I'm like, yo, damn, man. I'm mad this Juggernaut bitch shit keeps <laughs> popping in my head. Like, that, that's some old school shit, It's though. the Juggernaut, bitch. If you got YouTube, just just search that shit and yeah, watch them and enlighten your life. Yeah, it's Juggernaut, bitch. That, that, that really used to be your shit, though. Yeah. That used to be your shit heavy. It's the Juggernaut, bitch. And I got a bitch with me. Yeah. But, nah, but Miles Garrett, like, <laughs> but Miles Garrett did hit him with that El Cabong shit. He yeah. really hit him nah, with that, 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 shit was, that uh, guitar over the head shit. The, the boom. Yeah. <laughs> it, looked, it looked like he... <laughs> The old school racist cartoons where he just all of a sudden he just got the thingy. I'm yeah, glad we don't. Have, I'm glad we don't have the video. I'm glad we don't have the video. You, you shaking like like a weirdo or shit? No, he uh, get the little squinty yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. And- Yo, I don't know, man, how I feel about it. I feel like they should both got suspended, at least for a couple games. Yeah. Because um, it was, like, instigation on both sides when you watch the whole shit. Yeah. Uh, but but Miles my- Garrett gets suspended for the whole season. Uh, it's not his first offense. And this is that's the thing. true. That's it's true. Not, it's, this is his third like offense. They had to do him like they did Vontez Burkett. Or Burfitt. Mm-hmm. Because he was... Oh, indefinite? Oh, no. Burfitt, he had a case, not just for this year. He had, like... Oh, yeah. Years. He got, like, like six or seven... Years. Solid years. Uh, uh, of... Always habitually stepping over the line. Yeah, but, but he played for a team that stunk, and again, he always got roughed up by the Steelers. So if you're not gonna win the game, you try to win the fight. That's all it was. But he was winning the game. In in, in Miles Garrett's case, but in yeah. Vontez Burfick's case, his mm. team was always getting beat by my Steelers. So it was like, yo, you can't win the game, so you try to win the fight. I so, guess. So, but either way, like whatever. Like Browns ain't gonna do shit. A bunch of shit staying ass motherfuckers. And no, the Lions ain't doing shit neither. And I don't think Pittsburgh's doing shit neither. Well, Pittsburgh, they're, they're still in the hunt. Mathematically. Uh, mathematically. <laughs> yeah, we hang on till it's mathematically out. Yeah. You know, like the Lions are still yeah. mathematically. Now, now she's sitting here, and she, I don't know how much of a football fan you are. Mm, I'm married to a big football fan, so uh-huh. I hear a lot of it. Uh, Patriot but- guy. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. So this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so with the so nah, I don't. I shouldn't do that. Patriots are teams too. They 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 have feelings. You know. Hey man, they got the goat. They have the right to cheat, just like every other team does. Hey man, if, if you're uh, not cheating, you ain't trying, bro. Yeah, if you ain't cheating, you're trying. It's, they just got caught, so they sorry for getting caught. That's it. That's it. No, yeah, no, that's it. Either way, nah, I, I can't stand the Patriots. <laughs> that's okay. You don't have to. Yeah. Nah, but it, see the thing is, I used to hate them when they stunk. So, yeah. so my my hatred is nothing new. <laughs> like my my non patriot fan, this is yeah. it Brady. goes way back. So, it goes yeah, way back. This is Grogan days. This history, the Eason days. Like history I, of being rooted against the Patriots for sure. That's for sure. Oh man, I, like my first and I said this before. My first football game was the Patriots against the Chicago Bears and. My father almost got beat up because I was cheering for the Bears so heavy. I'm like, yeah, let's go Bears. They're like, yo, give that kid a candy. Yo, shut that kid up. Yo, shut the fuck up, little kid. I'm like, my father was like, yeah. After the game, we just had to go straight to the car and go straight home. Like, yo, they wanted to rough you up, man. Like, just never liked them. Man. Yeah. That's what it is. Hey, the Lions ain't doing shit neither this year. But, you know, we, we're going to continue to call it rebuilding. And now Stafford's hurt, so. Well, I, maybe you guys need Kaepernick on your team. Hey, I wouldn't be mad at that. I would well, not be mad at that. I think that offense can fit him. Yeah, well, they, see, they, they need a spark somewhere, you know. They need a they need a secondary. The secondary is trash. Well, your Lions need a lot, so. Well, there's that. But, um. Yeah. Do you want to get into the poll question? Uh, the poll question of the week. Or do we want to talk about uh, John Legend opening the doors for regular motherfuckers <laughs> like me to win Sexiest Man of the Year on uh, People Magazine? Uh, all right, so. Because he's the most mediocre, sexiest man ever. All right, so now that you're touching more base on that, so Sexiest Man Alive. Um, no, we have some women in the room here that could attest that sexiness isn't just your looks. And yes, 
that's huge. Right? So that that's that 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 plays a whole part. Me being a short guy, I like to play that angle because people like to play me, oh you too short. Like <laughs> height has nothing to do with this shit. Like the fuck you talking about? Like <clears throat> so again, sexiness doesn't really have to be a certain height. It shouldn't be a certain well, no, weight. It I shouldn't mean, be a Tom certain Cruise muscular build. Man, he's little as shit. Well, yeah, no, but on the he's movie, it's it, different camera <laughs> angles make him look tall. So he got the camera trick. He's only like before. five four though, at best. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know, man. I just thought of, like like the dude John Legend won, and he's just getting dragged through the internet, man. They, they are having. Having their way with, but you see, that's like saying like sexy women are only like their cup size or their height or their weight. That's so shallow, and it might sound like I'm making. A- <laughs> no, it sounds like I'm coming off like making a joke. No, but it is shallow. It's like it, it's more than just that. It's you know your intellect, what you bring to the table, and your personality. And oh yeah, are. I mean, so I'm sure- it, it's it's a whole universe of things. It's not just. Looks and your muscular. I'm, I'm sure there's a large amount of people that think that John Legend is sexy. I mean, I don't know any of them. <laughs> um, Who guys? I don't. No, just in general. I mean, he won it, right? So I'm sure there's like a, there was like a panel I, I, and people I, vote. I don't talk. Two other guys about who they think are sexy, number one. So <laughs> Why would there be guys on the panel to choose the sexiest man alive? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, no. I thought that... Uh, I, maybe there is. Maybe there's a lot of guys. Maybe he got mad guy vote. Well, it's, a new, it's a new age. So it's like, a lot, there's a lot of women posting like, oh, how is no, John I thought, Legend the sexiest uh, no, man alive? I thought you said I didn't hear many guys saying about John Legend being the sexiest guy. I, I'm like... What? I know. That's what I thought you said. You're, but, you're cut off, dog. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 that's why I said it. I'm like, well, you know. I don't know if that's that's what I heard, but I don't know. But anyway, but no. he's getting dragged, man. I don't know. Like, you're right. This sexiness is more than just like how you look on the outside. Mm-hmm. Although, you know, it's good to have both. Well, you know, but uh, he he's a he's a great songwriter. Maybe that's where the sexiness that people see because they listen to his, he writes beautiful music. They listen to his songs and they're like, oh. But has he Babyface ever won? Um, Good point. The the, the king of has romantic love songs. Has he ever been in the running? <laughs> has, has Babyface ever been the sexiest man alive? Because you're the not so silent producer. Can you uh, again, I, I'm not the person to go to about answering like the sexiest guys. Like I don't have this track history on like sexiest guys. But no, that's because you're never in the running, man. I'm sorry. They, they send me the <laughs> they send me the ballot every year and let me know I'm on it. Oh no, they they, they, they just don't want to put me on it because I smoke too much weed and I talk too much wild shit and I say too much crazy stuff. So they're like, nah, you you might be sexy, but you're a little bit too crazy I'm, and cool. So. I'm, I'm I'm edgy. I'm edgy. <laughs> Yeah, you see? I'm edgy. They, they, they're like, we don't know. He's like an enigma. And I'm like, that's right, bitches. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a teddy bear with abs. Char- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's the appeal you're going for. Yeah, like, that's right. Like, I'm just the short kind of like to smoke weed and my abs, and My abs are so ridiculous that I have to have security for them. And that's um, a security force to protect my abs from... Oh, you know. Okay, I'm glad I don't need security clearance to get close to your abs because I'm not going close to your abs ever in my life. Just to keep the thirst back. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? If you was, if I had to perform the Heimlich, I'd be like, yo, get up on the table, B, and try to push you on the table. <laughs> try to grab you from the back and try. Like, I'm not getting, ever getting close to man's abs like that. And. It's just me. Damn, man, you ain't gonna save my life just because you don't no, want to no, get close I'll to probably, my abs? <laughs> no, I'll probably try to hunt you over, like, maneuver you over the... We don't have the camera so people can't see <laughs> like, It just sounds like you're trying to maneuver me. Over the table. Oh, over the table. Me, over the table. But <laughs> nobody, can, while being nobody on the side. can see what's happening, so... No, I'm on the side. I'm on the side. And I'm, like, he's, trying to... He's like, trying to maneuver me on the table from and the side. And pat you on the back while I'm standing... Perpendicular to you. <laughs> like, like you gotta use certain terminologies here now. You gotta use certain terminology. Cause I can't be parallel, I gotta be perpendicular. So gotta use some math terms on, on, on motherfuckers, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm gonna not I'm gonna not just I don't eat during the show, so I shouldn't choke on anything. Yeah. Then you don't have to maneuver behind me with my abs. Yeah. How about that? So <laughs> Um, yeah, the poll question that we had going on this yeah, week. Yeah, so we posted the poll question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell them about it. All right. So how did this poll question come up again? I know you, we were, said- you were talking about how your daughter was going to high school or something. And uh, then somehow we got on American Beauty. 
and then oh uh, yeah yeah because we had like, the yo, meeting yeah and it was like oh what would you do yeah what would I do if one of my of like of age one of my daughters or one of my children's of age friends started like making the moves on me trying try to hit on me like would I be like well you know you legal technically and um yeah I'm, I, if I'm single I'm single if I'm not I'm not but yeah. so you I, said I could teabag you yeah <laughs> I, I'm gonna say no to that personally so yeah we put up the poll question so we had women can answer to you know guys can answer to then there's wrinkles to it that we didn't really add to it but basically on the poll majority of the people rightfully said hell no <laughs> I'm not gonna be rocking with that because even still too like there's different ways of looking at it like how I don't know if we were gonna put it out there but yeah no you actually said yeah, it. I put it out there like yeah. no, how your mother was like yo is your friend Denzel see now he's of age technically right so he's he's what thirty five, so yeah. Denzel's way older than thirty five. Well, he's like sixty. He's older than 61. us. Well, he, well, he's about your mother's age then, right? Yeah, they're the same age. So, well, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so yeah, there's there's the little wrinkles too. So <laughs> if my daughter's eighteen and then her friend for whatever odd reason is thirty five, right? She's of age. Is my daughter's friend? I would still say no. You're still gonna say no, man, because like I was telling you earlier, you don't want to have those conversations. Yeah. Like with your daughter about how you're treating her friend terrible, but also you don't want to put your daughter through having to have those conversations about. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the friend I was going jug- to. I was so, juggling the shit out of his balls last night. You don't yeah, want your daughter. To have yeah. That I, I want to expose my daughter to that. No. No. That's <laughs> that's unnecessary. Yo, you wouldn't imagine what he did last night. Yo. Wasn't he supposed? Wait, wasn't he supposed to take me to such and such? And he said he was sick. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Nah, see, because you don't want to traumatize your kids, man. Think about that. If you knew all the details of your parents' sex life. Nah, see, so, and then, and then, or or your your mom. Yeah, and we said this off mic. It's like, yo. One of your boys come up to you, be like, "Yo, your mom, let me, yo, guess." And don't don't even say her by name. Don't say your mom's or nothing. Be like, "Yo, guess what I did last night, yo, yo, we did it in the back seat of the car, and shit. And we had to like push the child seat out the way. Yo, this shit was wild." Be like, "Yo, B, you know what? You know what? I know you're talking about my mom's, right? Like, right. Like, no, no, I, no. Out of respect, I didn't want to say it was your mom's, but no, I just wanted to like uh, let you know what happened with my night last night, yo. You asked me how it was, the Tony. Like, yo, motherfucker, like, we can't be friends. Cause, nah, because I might want to fight you all the time. Yeah, I can't text you and be like, yo, you watching the game? <laughs> nah, I'm ass. I'm over here with my shorty. I'm balls deep in some ass right now. I'm like, yo, motherfucker, you talking about my mom's, yo? Like, it's <laughs> <sighs> just making my stomach hurt just, just saying it out loud. Yeah, for real. It's like, yo, um, yo, you want to go out and get some drinks? Yo, you, you, what you up to? Nah, I'm about to get some ass, yo. It's like, you just can't. It just can't fly. What would you do, Missy? You have kids, right? I do have kids. Are they older kids? They are seventeen and eighteen. Yeah, see, so, so for me, do you like know I that? Said, do you know that you're the hot mom? Probably. I don't like to talk about that. Uh. <laughs> we don't. We don't discuss that. But the for me, it would be a no. But like you said, if you have a, if you got an eighteen year old kid, you're single for some reason. Your eighteen year old kid has a thirty five year old friend. Mm-hmm. I mean, how long are they really going to be friends for, too? Yeah. They might just be work friends. You might be missing out on something. Yeah. Like, how much do you really got in common? <laughs> your bond is only the TPS and reports. And your kid always has to choose you over the friend, so. Yeah. When it doesn't work out. I don't know. For me, it's a no. Yeah, yeah but Do you want your kid to even, like, have to talk to your friend about, like... Like to know well, that, like no. you know, to know, th- I mean, that's why that's why it should be a no. Because like, why would you want your kid to know what you're doing? Like, it, what kind it, of nasty, no. freaky shit you be doing? Hey, yo, Daryl, can I borrow a condom? Well, I don't yo? Think my kid, what? <laughs> yo, I can't have my boy asking me no questions like this. Yo, last night she let me use stuff from the fridge on her. Yo. <laughs> uh, you know, like those are not conversations you want to no. have. So like, I mean, maybe you got to lay down the laws. Like this doesn't get talked about with that, or just shut it down in the beginning. Yeah, but. Yo, she let me drink straight from the mug last night. Yo, the same motherfucking mug of orange juice I'm drinking right now? Yo! And, and you want a fruit snacks. 
<laughs> yeah, for real. You need to get some more motherfucking Teddy Grams, B. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. It Yo. gets to a point where you just want to be like, Yo. <laughs> Yo, you're my boy, so I got to let you know. I got to give you the heads up. Yo, your mom's pissed at you, Yo. Yo. <laughs> Your report card was real shitty. Yo, how many times your mom got to tell you about cleaning up this room, yo? <laughs> you what? Yo, you told me, yo. You put in too much stress on our relationship, young man. Yo, yo, you need to go outside and play for a second, yo. <laughs> yo, you sending me outside to play? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> too bad you don't have the defeat in his face. <laughs> yeah, people don't have the, 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 the visuals of you just hanging your head and like... <sighs> Yo, shit's getting real serious, man. I'm thinking, you know, might take this to the next level. Hey, yo, go, yo, when you go to the store, get me a Dutch and bring back some condoms for me, all right? What? <laughs> oh, I just came to smoke, yo. Like, yo, you just came over to smoke for a bit. Like, I figure I'm here and she's in the mood. Like, <laughs> she, yo, she's just making some breakfast. Start for calling me. you new stepson. What up, new stepson? Uh, <laughs> what up, son? Uh, Boo! Fuck that! Nah, I'm fighting that guy because we can't be cool. Nah, it's not possible. No matter how much you listen to Mob Deep, you can't call me son. <laughs> what up, son? Uh, what up, Dunn? No, mm. none of that. None of that. Nah, that. Nah, we can't be friends no more. Like that's the end of the friendship. Hey, so uh, where? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even talk about it anymore. So we just gotta we just gotta move along. Yeah, we got <laughs> just gotta move along. Yeah. Um, yo, it's the it's the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Yes, you know. So I've been uh, I've been trying to eat kind of healthy, mm-hmm. healthy ish. Got I'm, I'm, your I'm, vegan ways. I'm vegan adjacent right now. Mm-hmm. Um, there's still meat involved in my life, but uh, so far red meat mm-hmm. uh, is, is is not is not around anymore. We, we kicked red meat to the curb for a little while. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, there's a lot of do's and don'ts for Thanksgiving. Uh, okay. Not just not just eating. You know, but also like, don't be trying to bring like your big ass vegan dish, <laughs> <laughs> like portions for sixty people, and there's only four of us here eating. It is or, way too right. expensive to cook vegan to bring a dish that big. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, yeah, I like quinoa, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> or just trying to change the menu around. Like, don't don't be uh, be vegan adjacent. If mm-hmm. you are vegan, don't be trying to go to other people's houses and tell them what they're gonna have. You just eat what's available for you. Or have don't. that tofu turkey rather than the real turkey. Don't be like, oh, you, you know, know how expensive ha- that thing is. My daughter's vegan. She's mm. been vegan for two years now. So it's like my household is crazy. We have me and my husband who do meal prep. My son wants to eat like a normal human, and then my daughter's vegan, vegan. Like, won't even eat honey. Won't even mm. eat oh, wow. honey roasted peanuts. Won't like yep. super vegan. So I got a 19 pound turkey and a 22 pound turkey for 15 bucks for both turkeys. Mm-hmm. I got one tiny little vegan loaf. For twenty bucks. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so it's, oh. it's we, definitely yeah. See, she would just have to eat sides. <laughs> <laughs> the smallest yeah, of um, slices. Anyone asks if they can have a bite, the answer is no. This is only for Sage. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're gonna have to contribute a dollar if you want a bite. Uh, it's, it's, paper thin slices. Uh, Here's the thing: just just be mindful. If you know you if you if you invite vegans to your house, yeah, it should be you know you make, make them something that they can eat. You know what I'm saying? It's that's, that's easy the, too. You just leave the like just you leave have the, vegetables. Just leave the just salad leave the out. Butter out. Yeah, leave, you know, leave, give them some it. steamed vegetables or something or whatever. Just don't buy no fake fucking turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, don't it's do that shit. Anyway. Hmm. <laughs> fucking buy fake meat. If, if you're gonna be vegan, just eat vegetables and shit. You don't know, eat that fake shit. That shit's bad. Don't, don't do no wild shit because, like, if you have like a pan and you're making like bacon to use for like bacon bits or whatever, don't like just like wipe down the pan and be like, "Ah, right, here, I'm making your vegetables, your vegan vegetables, in that same grease." <laughs> nah, that yeah. shit is foul. Don't be an asshole nah, nah, like that. That shit is real foul. Don't do that to your vegan friends, man. That that shit is foul. Then Burger King just got caught up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they was cooking their thing on the same. I but said they that never, in the beginning. They never I was, said it was vegan. They said no, it was meatless. meatless. That's plant very true. Plant, plant, plant based. The magic words is plant, plant based. Yeah, they're not right calling now. it vegan. They're just yeah. calling it plant based, which is because they was using regular mayo. Yeah, rather yeah. than vegan mayo. It was yeah. a whopper with a pat with a veggie patty. Yeah, yeah, pretty. That's much. it. It's like when you go to any place and you substitute the meat for and it was cooked on the same grill yep. as the regular burger. So that's how it tasted like a real burger. Yep. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> which if you do go full vegan and you order stuff at a restaurant, you have to request that they cook it in a separate pan. Yep. Because even the regular restaurants don't. They don't. Cook it no, they no. don't. They, they will cook and it if in you that don't same tell them, like that you're allergic. They will not make sure that they cook. They won't do it. No. Yep. And they'll be like, "Oh, you want us to cook?" Like I'm allergic. (laughs) Yep. You want us to cook this stuff in some special shit for you because you think you're special? Get the fuck out. Mm. We'll make you a salad and we're gonna cook it in oil. Yeah. (laughs) An extra thing of lard for you. Yeah. It's that new tofu fish. Eat that shit. Yeah. (laughs) Tilapia food. (laughs) (laughs) But we have Missy Wheels in the building today. Special guest host. Oh, she's been quiet. Sorry, um, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. From Welcome. Sage so Nutrition. And uh, I know she might not want to attach herself to some of the shit we yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She might be running for office. So she's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> but, you know, we, we're uh, we're problematic sometimes. So, sometimes. you know, we, sometimes. you never know Question when. I'm, I'm still waiting for the Bayhive to come for me, but they haven't yet because they don't want that smoke neither. Yeah, neither do I. I don't know how. You know, I'm on the outside with them. Like. Charlie Ward about to still get these buckets. I've been tweeting them. He ain't been tweeting me back. I'm about to have to step up my tweet game with Charlie Ward. Charlie Ward is a basketball player that Daryl's been talking shit about forever for no damn reason. 58, really? Fi- like 50, 55 episodes. He's a former New York Knicks. For some <laughs> odd reason. Fucking bum. I don't know. <laughs> out of the blue. Out of the just b- all blue. Of a sudden. <laughs> it's like me just talking shit about Mary Lou Retton out of the blue. <laughs> Like, Mary Lou Renton, like, what the fuck you... I no, mean, you I guess what? everyone needs fuck a hobby. Bitch. <laughs> you know... Yo, her, her backflip game is trash. Yo, for real. <laughs> Yo, if my back wasn't so hurt and, and I, I could actually get a backyard of me, fuck that bitch. I'll show her what's up. Dominique Dawes is better than her. <laughs> like, out of the blue. Like, he just talks wild shit about... Charlie Ward. Either way, yo, anybody can get these buckets, though. Let's be let's be clear. I'm not. I'm specifically calling out Charlie Ward. I don't understand why but him. But anybody who want to step to bat and, and, and defend his honor can also get these buckets. You know, games. I'm gonna get my cousin after you, Daryl. <laughs> Can't be talking. Charlie Ward obviously something. don't have no hive. You know, they don't have no no fan club. Who the who the Ward? Charlie Ward. Yeah, it was. He's, you don't you don't want no smoke with them fifth four bees, man. <laughs> <laughs> they, they obviously don't want the smoke from me neither because they ain't even telling their boy to holler at me so he can get these buckets. All right, you know what, Daryl? Just like how the Bay High might be coming for you, people might be coming for me with, the, with my whole Taylor Swift shit. <laughs> the Swifties? I don't even know what they're called. We yeah, just call them I the don't Swifties. Know. I, I don't know. The little kids. Them the, guys. The, the little kids. Yeah, and, and them guys. And them guys. Them, <laughs> yeah. them hipsters, the dudes that wear paisley colors. And, yeah, no, them old guys that's trying to hit on their... Daughter's friends and shit like that. <laughs> them kind of guys. <laughs> <laughs> but they're of age. They're legal tender, B. I'm saying. Them guys. Dudes that don't like asses. No, the the, the guys Taylor, that are trying to... Taylor Swift got a long back. <laughs> she got no... She's, no a, she's a Hawaiian surfboard, I'm saying. From like, no never buns. ending summer. Never ending summer. So, yeah, she she has that surfboard back, yeah. Zero cheeks. Yeah, so either way, so, yeah, we have her in the house. <laughs> so, know. let's get into this. We have Missy in the house. She's going to help us yes, yes, with our Thanksgiving Day prep. Yes. Um, and what we can do and to, you know, stay relatively healthy. You know, I guess if Tony was here, he'd say, don't eat the mac and cheese, man. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, stay away from the cheese. Stay yeah. away from the cheeses and shit. But, uh before we do that, let's just uh, let's Milton's learn about definitely. let's learn about Missy. <clears throat> yes. okay. Tell us tell us a story. Tell us about Sage Nutrition. Tell us about your uh, uh, what is that? What are you doing? Like World's Strongest Man or something? I did a few strongman competitions. I have a power meet coming up at the end of the month, which is not sanctioned. It's more just like for fun. Someone I know passed away. It's like being done in his honor, so that's the only reason oh, I'm okay. doing it. Um, but yeah, Stage Nutrition has been around three years this month. Actually, last week was three years for us. Oh, congratulations. Um, thank you. It is like a really tough thing to try and build and get off the ground, especially being a woman in the industry. Mm. It is much different than being a man in the industry because clearly I'm not like some chiseled giant man. I'm this four foot eleven girl who's like, I mm. pick up heavy things. Listen to me. <laughs> and mm. It takes a little bit to get through to people sometimes. But once they see like my before and afters and hear my story, they understand like, I do know what I'm talking about, and we have grown consistently year after year, which is great. Um, Sage is my daughter's name as well, but okay. Sage for the store stands for a sound advice, guidance, and encouragement. So it's oh. kind of like help you along your way of getting healthier. Wait, what's that again? Sound advice, guidance, 
Encouragement. Encouragement. Oh. Encouragement. Yeah. Oh. So um, we're basically like a family-run GNC is the easy way to put it. We work okay. with um, smaller companies. Um, you won't find the same things on our shelves that you find on GNC shelves, but GNC pushes a lot of their own product. We don't have our own product. We find smaller mm -hmm. companies um, that kind of have more quality put into their products because they're still small. Mm -hmm. um, and that's basically what we do every day. So, oh, nice. Well, how'd you get into the fitness? Were you like just sitting so, on the couch one day and <laughs> eating hog and dyes and you were like no, watching, watching the shit. biggest loser? Getting up and off the couch is hard. This is some, <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> So when I was younger, I always, I used to take dance. I did tap, jazz, ballet, point. I competed, all that crap. But mm. then I got older and that was expensive and I had to pay rent. I couldn't, you know, pay competition fees and all that stuff. So mm. that went to the wayside and I started lifting weights um, to just pass my time because I need to be active. Otherwise, I get stir crazy. Mm. Um, how we got into the business about 20 years ago, my brother-in-law used to have a store and we worked with him for a while. But unfortunately, his store is no longer. He's passed away. So we kind of took a break from it and then jumped back into it three years ago because we weren't getting any younger. Oh. It's something that, you know, we're passionate about, that I enjoy. Um, and so that's why we did it. Nice. But my own weight loss, if you look at our website or my Facebook page, you can see with my son, I gained 80 pounds. And then I was like 120 pounds. I was 200 pounds by the end of my pregnancy. I lost 40 pounds. And then I got pregnant with my daughter, <laughs> gained 40 more. So I was right back up to 200. So I never realized that I could have a weight problem until that happened. So it kind of was like very, very eye opening for me. My family, a lot of the women in my family are obese. Um, mm. And I just want to be as healthy as possible because try to like break the chain, break the chain. Exactly. Mm. You know, like my mom never really could play with me. She didn't take me to the park. She wasn't playing tag with me. She wasn't getting on the floor with me, that kind of stuff. So. Mm. That's the kind of things that I realized, like, oh, wait a minute. I want to be able to do that, you know? So that's why I do what I do. So tell us about the strong. How do you how do you get into the strong man situation? They're usually, like, gigantic as motherfuckers throwing <laughs> stones and yeah. lifting logs. and. There's a lot of crazy stuff. Like, how do they, like, you're not very tall, so how does that I'm work? Do they tall. have, like, retrofitted? No. Is it, like, a special, like, height division? Like, how, um, how, how, how strong men set up? It goes by weight class. So oh. there are some things that you have an advantage on. Like a, for a deadlift, if you think about it, I have to pull the weight up less height than everybody else. Mm. So I have an advantage on the deadlift. But on things like stone throwing or uh, keg loading, we have to raise the keg up over the bar. For some people, the bar comes to like mid chest. And for me, it's like, you know, my upper chest close to my chin. And I have to lift that keg way higher than everybody else. So mm. there's no stipulations. There's no like... It balances out. It balances out. You're either good at one event and bad at another, or you're good at all of them, or, mm. you know, it's just they don't change anything. This is the height of what you have to do. This is the weight of what you have to do for your weight class. You can do it or you can't, which is why I like strongman versus a lot of people say, oh, why don't you do fitness? Or why don't you do bodybuilding? And I. Because I, I guess there are like some way taller chicks that are in your weight class that yeah. just. There's tons of way taller chicks. And a lot of times, too, like my last competition, there was only one girl in the. Um, in the middleweight, so they combined her into the novice, and she was way bigger than me. Mm. And you just you got to roll with the punches, you got to suck it up, you got to take the adrenaline of the competition. Do and they adjust the? Do they adjust some of the things for you, like to match, like so? Sometimes maybe not the stuff you have to throw, weight. but like the like the yoke. Like how do you stand in the like? The, yeah, the so that adjusts to your height, oh, all right. but um, you know the weight stays the same. Or mm. and the only things that don't change is the height of having to lift something up and over. So like. Atlas, Atlas stones or keg loading. If, mm. it, if the height to lift it over is 28 inches, you got to lift it up 28 inches. Doesn't matter how tall you are, you just got to get it up. Now, are they empty kegs or full kegs? They're uh, full of sand, so it depends. My oh, last competition, shit. the keg was 120. Damn, yeah, kegs are heavy as shit. Yeah. And working as a ball back, I hate having to take the keg from upstairs bar <laughs> all the way to the downstairs bar because that ball ran out of shit. I'm like, oh, TJ, you want to do this shit? He's like, yeah, the little scrawny dude. He's like, yeah, look, I lift up a keg by myself. I'm like, yeah, you blow out your O-ring, motherfucker. I'm 40. <laughs> you're 22. So me blowing out an O-ring, that, that shit, I'm out of commission. Yeah, young kid, your O-ring will grow back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your shit will grow back. He's like, for real? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. No, nah, but like, the, and it's the smaller kegs, right? It's not the bigger kegs, are they? The big kegs. Uh-huh. The big kegs? Oh, big shit. Kegs. Damn. It's like, like the city you see on TV with like okay. all the um, Slavic, all the Swedish dudes. Oh, yeah. On um, Rasmussen the, and the old ESPN. <laughs> You've been on, like, them old ESPN shows? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no. Just not, nothing couple, televised yet? Just a couple local competitions. Oh, okay. Right. Um, it's fun. It gives you it? something to train for, something to look forward to, and it makes you, like, I never thought I could pick up 320 pounds and walk around with it. Like, mm. I would never just try that. <laughs> but to know that I could do it is pretty cool. So, you know? like, in a pinch, you could, like, lift up a car so that way they could, like, Maybe. get out of the mud? Like a, a, like a small Yugo or like an electric <laughs> car? Like, like, a, like an electric car or some shit? Just... It's possible. <laughs> What's your favorite event to compete in? Uh, my favorite event to compete in is deadlifts. I do love deadlifts because oh. that, for some reason, you get three shots, and for some reason, that's the one that I can just lift something that I didn't even know was possible. Like, my last competition, I walked in with a max at 245, and I walked out maxing at 275. Hmm. And I still am not quite positive how that bar got up off the floor and locked out, but it did. <laughs> so, it's just... You was feeling strong that day. I guess. It was in the casino. My husband says it's because they pump oxygen through the casino, mm. so maybe I was, like, a little extra pumped up between that and adrenaline, but it's just competition is, is good for you. You know, oh, yeah. it makes you push a little bit harder, and you don't want to be the girl that couldn't pick it up. Like, you don't want to be that girl. Like, you don't want to be the guy that gets pushed into the locker. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's exactly You don't want to be it. the girl who gets up there and flips over the bar because so, it's so too you, heavy. So you meet the challenge where the challenge yeah. is. Go See, down that's what I'm talking about. Meet so, the challenge. So since your competition, have you gotten stronger with your deadlift? Are you, what are you, um, are you looking to break like, some records? No, I'm kind of staying where I am right now, but I am looking to get better for next season's competitions. So I'll compete again probably next spring. But I kind of jumped into it really fast, and I was jumping, you know, 20 pounds every month, which mm-hmm. is a lot when you're talking about lifting. So I kind of want to scale it back a little bit, get my lifts a little cleaner, you know, my form a little bit better, and then start competing again next spring. Well, opposed to your favorite one, which one's your least favorite? Least favorite? Anything overhead. Oh, uh, like the keg? Uh, the keg is tough for me. I either hit the sweet spot on the keg, and I can get that thing over 12 times, mm. or I fuck it up right from the beginning, and I'm just stumbling all over myself through the entire two minutes, mm. and it's terrible. But, um, like, the log press overhead, any kind of strict press, overhead stuff is a lot harder for me. I, mm. Women are, are typically stronger in their legs anyway than they are in the upper body, but, how, how I mean, do, it's how just... Do you, how, do you, how do you practice at home? Do, are you, like, lifting up, like, duffel bags? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, Get in here. Yeah, yeah. Mommy, lay down. I'm gonna pick you up. <laughs> Not tonight, dear. I, I, I have a headache. Put you the, got a headache. Put the straps on. <laughs> what straps? You know the good straps. He's like, damn it. <laughs> but but they chief. They <laughs> No, there's a gym I go to, and they have everything uh, to train with. Okay. So. That makes a lot more sense. I don't have okay. to abuse anybody at home. Okay. <laughs> Keep your back stiff. <laughs> it's, not, it's not abusing. It's conditioning. <laughs> it's conditioning them to be tougher. It's not abuse. Come I on. have tried to press my daughter, but she just doesn't know how to stay straight. Oh, uh, she started wiggling, giggle, <laughs> wiggling and giggling. Definitely fell right on me. It didn't uh, work out well. I was yeah. like, come on, I can do this. She's like, Mom, why do you have to be so weird? <laughs> So wait, you ever thought about getting like a She-Ra tattoo or something like that? No. No? No. Nope. Oh, okay. She-Ra, no. She, you know. Yeah, she's she-ra, the, she, yeah. She-Ra's, yeah. She-Ra's the ship. Yeah. He she, means sister, right? It's his sister. Yeah, it's, his, it's his twin sister. It's yeah. Twins. How come it's his twin sister and they don't live in the same... They gotta have separated at birth. Oh yeah, they, yeah. They oh, man, se- you don't know the story. Divine conquer, divine conquer. Uh, they were separated at birth. Okay, all right, oh. all right. I, I, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> yeah, that's what the story is. Yeah, man. That's, that's what the, the story. story. Is. I'm trying to play like I knew that shit. From the show. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Right. So, with Thanksgiving coming up, mm-hmm. Missy, what kind of uh, what kind of advice do you have for folks to, you know, if they are trying to lose weight, to not like fuck up their whole their whole situation? <laughs> By eating all the cake and shit on Thanksgiving. So, like, what, what, what are we looking out for? You want to, first of all, you want to um, understand that you didn't lose all your weight by eating one healthy meal, and you ain't going to gain it all back by eating one bad meal. Mm. So, honestly, when I tell my diet clients is, is Thanksgiving, have your food, eat it, enjoy it, don't beat yourself up about it, and just get back into the routine the next day. But if you're super strict and you want to stay as tight as possible on your, your diet... Just, you know, fill your plate with more veggies first, leave the extra butter off, 
Um, instead of using grandma's gravy that she makes from the fat from the turkey, get the little packet gravy that's just like the bouillon in water and it's less fat in that. Ew. I know. But Ew, that's water. <laughs> it's brown water. Um, <laughs> when it cut, everybody thinks that white meat is healthier for you than dark meat, but it's the difference of like one or two grams of fat, mm. honestly. Just don't eat the skin. Just, you know, things like that. Limit your dessert. Pick one thing that you want or like... I honestly, I'm a bite. Like, I'll take a bite of that, and I'll take a bite of that, and I'll take a bite of that. And then by the time I'm done, I've tried everything, and I probably had one dessert. <laughs> my family doesn't like me because I'm picking off their plates. But. Um, <laughs> like, like, my rule of thumb is, is like, I because it's Thanksgiving, I, I don't eat anything all day. And when I do, I have one plate of food, and I take a little bit of everything. And I'm just thankful for this one plate of food. That, <laughs> that's just me and my personal, like, celebration and traditional kind of way. But like you said, it's probably best off going with the vegetable first because if you start with, like, the meats first, now Mm -hmm. when you get around to the vegetables, oh, I don't have enough space. So rather than taking five green beans, you'll take three because that's all you can fit on your plate. So, yeah, start with the vegetable. That's actually a a good one. And pick your vegetables wisely, too, because, like, corn is a vegetable, but Mm. it's loaded with sugar. So green beans over corn. Um, Peas are the same way, like the sugar peas. Those are Mm. still loaded. They're vegetable, but they're still loaded with sugar so i mean again if Natural you're trying sugars, to be yeah. really strict so we shouldn't put brown sugar and molasses in our sweet potatoes yeah probably not sweet potato is really good for you though mm-hmm. if you leave that out of it <laughs> no it is good but it's better with it it is <laughs> it is it is my niece makes it so i don't know there's marshmallows on it and yeah i don't oh, know yeah. what, what else goes into it but it's good brown sugar and molasses, and molasses. <laughs> you know what it's called it's called love but <laughs> that's it Deliciousness and love. Uh, how do you feel about plant-based protein? I've been watching. I watched that uh, Game Changers documentary. So I did watch that as well. It's uh, very interesting because Arnold Schwarzenegger has been around for how long? Yeah. And he has pushed meat, 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 and now all of a sudden it's plants. It was interesting oh. to see him in it. I was like, Arnold? Yeah. It was like, really odd. Oh, but, so, so meat did in Jack LaLanne too, huh? <laughs> Like, Jack LaLanne was around for a long time eating meat. Yeah. Like, he wasn't on no plant-based. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just... But the this. juice man lived to, like, 120, yeah, though. You know what the major difference is, I feel, is that meats nowadays are pumped with more ho- uh, steroids and hormones nowadays compared to back in the day. So that's really the major difference. I see. I didn't watch that documentary. Uh, I mean, the documentary, like, they do a lot of science, which I appreciate. Yeah, the, like, the, the, blood the, the blood testing was, testing was very incredible. interesting to see. Mm. Yeah. I was like... <gasps> Yeah. Real. <laughs> yeah. It's it's interesting, but I mean, my opinion on it is your body is going to digest things or it's not. So if your body, if you want to be plant-based and your body is just not digesting it, you're bloated all the time, you're tired, you, you know, you're not getting the benefits because your body's not breaking it down, mm. then you're not going to have the same 100% benefits that somebody else is. I honestly I can't digest plant-based protein. It doesn't I tried, like I said my daughter's vegan, so I tried a couple times to go vegan with her. And my body was like, nope, you're going to mm. sleep all day. You're going to, oddly enough, you're never going to go to the bathroom because we're not digesting anything. And uh. if you can't digest it, you can't <laughs> utilize it. <laughs> you can't <laughs> use it. And therefore, it doesn't work. I'm so just really gotta, gassy. I'm just gassy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to oh. do what your body lets you do. So, oh, I mean, no. I, I encourage everybody to try it. You know, try it. See if it works for you. No, me. Was, no, see. <laughs> No, it's best like we lost a, the producer. Yeah, yeah, that's so, not so silent producer. My, my body, my body digests everything. I don't really have a problem with the digestion part of my diet. I'm lactose intolerant. You know, I just can't fuck with certain things. Well, milk. Yeah, you know, you can drink raw milk. Um, raw no, milk, like, raw, right, like, like, raw like right, from, like right from, from the, the titty, cow. straight from the cow, uh, and yeah. it won't bother you. It Isn't will. Crazy? It will. I promise you it won't. I promise Let's you it will because <laughs> me getting it straight from the cow. Okay, not straight me, from the cow. Me putting my mouth on no. this cow. Yeah, no, I would no, have a problem. I would have a problem. I would have a problem with this cow. Got some supple teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can I get like a wet wipe or something for this cow? Like, what the fuck? It's all grassy and shit. Uh. Trust me, I would have... <laughs> okay, somebody took it from the cow and put it in a bottle. Okay. And then you... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. You see, you gotta put things in context. Like, 
We this is our first interaction, so I apologize. I'll no, no, more, no, no. I'll be more specific no. going forward. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. <laughs> now you know. Even when you do know, it still goes. Down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's your what's your favorite? What are you gonna What are you gonna eat on Thanksgiving? That uh, yeah. What's gonna be the superstar on your plate? Uh, well, I uh, cook I was, Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna ask what's the what's the cheat meal. Oh. Thanksgiving is a cheat meal. Uh, oh, the whole meal? The whole meal is a cheat meal because I'm Portuguese, so I do not, when mm. it comes to Thanksgiving, I, I don't cook healthy at all. Be quite honest, aside from my daughter's vegan food because it just is <laughs> the healthier. Vegan loaf. <laughs> my vegan living child, um, everything else is grandma's recipe. So, mm. you know, like I said, the vegetables, I'll leave the butter off, but other than that, everything comes from grandma's. There's a lot of shitties, there's a lot of Crisco. Mm. There's a lot of butter. Ooh. There's bread pudding. There's rice pudding. You, you, have, you, have, you have Paula Dean in your window looking <laughs> in like, Ooh, I love all that butter. Ooh, butter. Lots of butter. <laughs> hey, we have to make sure that we bring, a, bring the Tupperware to Missy's house. She's cooking with all the butter. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Paula Dean's all drooling and shit. We're coming for plates. That yeah. sounds good to me. We're coming for More plates. than Maria. We, I'm, we, we, I'm staying home. You, you're the one. I, I want to travel around plate. for plates. Um, Damn. We've been we've been contemplating just like traveling on Thanksgiving. Hey, come by. Uh, but I, I've, I've <laughs> retired. Carolyn, huh? I used to I used to cook every Thanksgiving, and I, I finally retired from cooking because I just want to go drive around and like. Eat other people. Eat other people. Last year was a lot because you made us run that race and then come home. And <laughs> I didn't make. First of all, Thanksgiving dinner and then that was a lot. First of all, I didn't make you run anything. <laughs> she so felt pressured. Up, I, up. I paid for the fee. Oh, already. Oh, here's your here's your shirt. <laughs> but you chose to run. Because of you. That's right. Damn, peer pressure. Right? <laughs> peer pressure happens like, in relationships to too. It does. Look at that. I already, I already <laughs> signed her up for the Detroit <laughs> race next year. She's going, we going. You ever run this race? Whoa. Not so silent producers Whoa. come away. Shots. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. She don't say nothing, but she you think she's saying real profound and it's passing too. <laughs> wow. Turn your mic off over there. <laughs> wow. Um made me lose my train of thought. What was we talking about? Wow. I don't know, but uh, Black Friday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it, are, you, are you a Black Friday? You well, be out there camping out with the well, rest of well, people trying to get I there? I have literally worked every single Black Friday since Being I have been a grown adult. I think I've been once to buy my kids a trampoline at Walmart, and I was like, I will never do this again. <laughs> well, people are crazy. Being who I am, every Friday's black. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just going to take this off the table. Yeah, man. yeah. Come, yo, 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 where the lighter at, yo? You don't need yo, any yo, more of that. that where's that lighter, B? Um, no, no, no. Like, no. Black Friday's cool, but I go, like, at 1 o'clock. Oh, you, you wait for the rush, and then you go? Yeah. Cause you show up at the end of the rush with it. I make sure yeah. it goes to the bathroom before it's, it goes to. It's like walking through, uh, like, a... Uh, Disaster zone. Yeah. Just like stepping over shit. You're like, oh, look, <laughs> this to the TV left. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Dust it off. Oh, it's just got a little crumbs on it. It's just a little scratch. Ain't nothing. It's no shows. It's still 4K. I've never done Black Friday. I just don't, I never understood like waiting outside. And, and, no. And like, like trampling like, people. Tra- trampling people, like, and being in a rush for some. For bed for, for like the. <laughs> For the hundred dollar fifty inch TV that they've had in a warehouse and haven't been able to sell, so they just blowing them out the doors because dead stock. They, yeah. Right, Thanksgiving is the end is the the last basically the beginning of the last of the end of the quarter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like all the like year in numbers and all that, so they just blowing out high sense TVs for a hundred bucks. Well, yeah, all this is right. Like, you're like, oh shit! I got a hundred and fifty inch TV for two hundred dollars, and they're like, but then it last you six months, and then you gotta buy another TV. Yeah, anyway. yo, it was two. It was two thousand and fifteen <laughs> model. That's why it's so cheap. Yeah, and people don't realize that they just look at the price. Like, My thing is too has been like, I don't. Uh, any, everything that I want never goes on sale. Like I've never looked at the like Black Friday circulars and been like, oh shit. I'm about to be there to get this shit because it's not anything that I ever Wait, want. It's always like about? trinkets. It's like, just the stuff that I might want. Like I might want the Sony Apple television Watch. or the Apple Watch. Don't just saying going on sale. True. There's no Black Friday sale on Apple watches. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> we're gonna be like sale on Apple anything. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, you know what I mean? Like like Sony never really goes on sale, and if they do, it's not so significant that you're gonna get up five percent. <laughs> Whoa, five percent! Yeah, it's never like they, yo. They never have shit off. I have to get up and go out in the middle of the night and battle with people to get ten dollars yeah. off a of Sony television. Nah, 
Mm-hmm. And if it does sell out, if it is something that I want and it does sell out, guess what? It's going to be back two weeks before Christmas anyway, and I'll just wait and get See, it for the same really, price or cheaper. Really, though, like, the rule of thumb is, is like, yo, am I saving enough where I put myself through all this inconvenience of waking up mad early, well, going to sleep early on a Thursday night, to wake up mad early on a Friday, to be out in the cold amongst these savages. Crazy people. Right? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and then run into the store hoping that I get the shit that I want. And then if I don't get the shit that I want, now I'm going to be tight because I went to sleep early. I woke up early. That's why I just don't do it. Because if you understand retail cycles, you know that they have to restock those shelves two weeks before Christmas for the late Christmas shoppers. And they have to blow it out. So generally, the the week before Christmas sale is way better than the Black Friday sale but this, anyway. But this is my point. If I'm only saving $20 for all that hassle... I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. I, like, what I did last year was, like, yeah, I go around, like, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock after the whole Russian shit. I end up getting some high tre- uh, thread counts in bed sheets, right? It was normally, like, $75. Got it for $20. And I was cool with that. And I didn't have to, you know, have a knife in my pocket looking, <laughs> like, have my head on a swivel looking to stab somebody. Like, I have, like, Popeye chicken sandwich in my car or nothing like that. <laughs> like, I was just on regular time. Like... Got my shit. It's like, all right, you know what? I'm tired. Want to smoke? Let's go. I'm not that, was to, it. that was the end of that chapter. I'm not about those kinds of adventures anyway, and I'm not trying to be out there with all those weirdos. Plus, like I said, I'll just wait two weeks. I do all my Christmas shopping. Like, it's Cyber Monday, too. And Cyber Monday. Like, you don't even have to leave your house anymore. You could mm-hmm. just... I just got a thing from Reebok saving like 60% off. You know what, though? And I, and I need to put this out there. Small Business Saturday. Yes, thank you. Small business Saturdays, <laughs> where you support your local businesses and your small businesses. This is one of those things that you know. I, some credit card company does it every now and then. I think it's like Visa, or some shit. Visa, or American, but, Express, American Express, American Express. Yeah. But yeah, small small business Saturdays. Support small businesses. Go out rather than rush the mall and tripping over people for no. saving five dollars on something that they already raised the price ten dollars weeks before. I'm yeah. definitely a fan of uh, <clears throat> Small Business Saturday. Uh, but I will say that small businesses need to make sure they do some sort of like sale too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. the thing about small businesses, a lot of people, like, their cost is high. So your cost is high. Mm. Yeah. So when you go to support the small business, make sure you bring enough money first. Don't be out there looking <laughs> for the deals. If you're going to support them, support them. Yeah. But at the same time, small businesses have a fucking Thanksgiving Day sale. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want people to support you and then they walk into your, into your store, <laughs> your boutique, and your shit is four times what it would be anywhere else on not Black Friday. Yeah. yeah that makes you know what I mean? So if you bring your prices down to like a regular sale, people are more likely to want to support you because it's like, it's still a little bit cheaper than it is. Yeah. It's yeah, Black Friday. Yeah, the people are buying shit anyway. Because you'll hear a lot of people go, yo, damn, I'm paying $40 for this. I can go to Walmart, pay $20 for this shit. You'll hear a lot of people say that. Yeah. Like, I, I hear that a lot inside of small businesses. I'm like, you're not really. But that's, that's, that's what makes it hard for small business. But I yeah. think that that owns Walmart, so I try not to put money into Walmart. What, who? Warren Buffett? No. No. Walton. Yeah. Oh, Walton. Walton. Walton, Walton, Walton. Yeah, yeah, Buffett is different. Buffett is you didn't like that TV yeah. show back in the day, Walton? <laughs> you didn't know that was about? You know who you're talking about. <laughs> you know that's about that. She, right? she didn't have a TV until 1995, man. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> so she doesn't know who the Walters is. No, they don't. Oh, it's about it's about um, you know the owner of Walmart. Like, uh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it really isn't. Uh, we got our picks. Thanksgiving Day games. All right, football games. Football All right. games. What you got what you got. What you got. We got we got the Lions and the Bears. Mm-hmm. We got the Bills and the Cowboys. And we got the Saints and the Falcons. Uh, you already know I'm picking my Lions to win on Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going for the Bears. I'm going. I'm going Lions, Bills, Saints. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so the Bills and the Cowboys. You're going the Bills? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Lions. I'm going Bills. I'm going Saints. Those are my three winners. Lock them. Uh, I got Bears. Don't even know what the Bills spread is. And... Lock them anyway. Damn. <laughs> Only difference we got is the Bears and the and the Lions. You're not gonna take Matty Ice. Yo, I had to cut him for my fantasy team. That, wow. motherfucker, that motherfucker was drowning my fantasy team, man. Like, I'm like, what, 3-7 and seven for my motherfucking fantasy league this year? Oh, shit. Yeah, Listen, you got to take some picks. 
Who do you like in these games? Oh, okay, let's see. Um, Lions versus the Bears? Uh, I like Lions better than Bears. All right. I hate the Cowboys, so we'll go Bills. Yep, yeah, well, all right. We'll and I went that. to church today, so we'll take the Saints. Oh, man. <laughs> GP, I am with me. That's how, that's how women choose their games. Uh, anyway. Jesus. Anyway. Unless, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping off. There's some women out off. there who are hardcore I'm fans. No, there, there's some hardcore fans. I do not fans. pretend to be one of them. <laughs> well, I jumped off that boat real quick. <laughs> I know you're a bodybuilder, and you and the, the strong woman. No, nah, but like a lot, of, a lot of non-sports like people yeah. in general, they'd be like, oh, I like those colors, I'll choose this team. Fresh Prince, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm jumping off that boat like Daryl onto the lanes last night. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, hey, fuck you. Uh, but listen, uh, the worst part about football on on Thanksgiving Day is Joe Buck. Okay. <laughs> because I'll, I'll let you say that. Because fuck Joe Buck, he can get these buckets too. I have to Charlie Ward. But, yo, that's, uh, we, we up against it. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. Uh, that's going to do it for another Saturday conversation. Thanks to Missy Wills, Sage Nutrition. Yes. Uh, you want to put your information out there for the people? Uh, yep. Yeah, you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Sage Nutrition LLC. And we are located at 140 Central Ave, Seekonk, Mass. Uh, phone number is 508-639-5486. Yeah. Call her up. Call Small. us up. We do diet Make counseling. We've got product. Um, you we'll got one of running... little pods? What's that? You want the little pods in there, like the little space pods? You can sit inside and take I don't have any nap. space pods. Uh, I take naps. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, before we get out of here, though, I have a quick question. You ever have, like, like husbands really try to, like, escort his wife in and be like, oh, look at this place. Uh, this might be nice for you. And try to get him, like, a package and help him out because he's trying to quietly say his wife is letting herself go? Uh, not so much in that exact way. Do they call? I mean, do they call ahead? Yo, I'm gonna come down with my wife today. Yo, she fat as fuck. <laughs> um, we're gonna need to get her into shape, so I'm gonna need you yeah, to like. Yeah, I would be nice. She let herself go. Or even in reverse. She did a good job. Even in reverse, you got you got like wives calling about their husbands who let themselves go because all they do is fucking watch football. Yeah, yo, this fat motherfucker like, keeps snoring. About, like, yo, can you help them get on the right path? Yeah, we're gonna bring them, we're gonna bring them down. I'm gonna pretend like I'm trying to get involved to try to get him involved because. He fucking he breathes heavy when he sits down. Now I think he's dying. Yo, he went from three pumps to two. When I, I can't do. I can't move. When I first met him, he had abs. Yeah. Now, he, now he don't have abs no more. He looks like a refrigerator. I Help me. I accepted going from four pumps to three. I'm not going from three to two. No, he's starting to lose it. I need the, it. The, the biggest thing I get is guys who, and it's usually like boyfriends, girlfriends, not husband wives. I think nobody wants to cross that line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the biggest thing I get is guys who are like, can I bring my girlfriend in here and you can show her that it is okay to lift weights? Like, women are so afraid to lift weights because they think they're going to turn into He-Man and, and lose their sexiness. It ain't gonna happen. Become like, like a bunch of... Unless they're doing drugs. Jones. As long as they're doing it clean yeah. and their voice won't change, they won't it's start sounding like... Something Jones, that doesn't Grace happen Jones. overnight. It's like something that's been drilled into women for years and years mm-hmm. that weights are not for girls or only for boys and you don't want to get bulky and like... I'm going to lose my titties. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to do that either. <laughs> oh, my titties. There is, I was a C cup, now I'm a B. ways to do it and <laughs> keep your curves. So are, they don't go away. Or like get curves. People don't realize that. So mm. that's the biggest thing that I that I see. Ladies, if you want a fat ass, you got to squat. That's right. And deadlift. Heavy, heavy squats and, and dead deadlifts. And deadlifts. And then yes. do those little other little bridge thingies and dead shit lift. that you see in the videos. Because <laughs> deadlift is yes. nuts. <laughs> Wow. You're in a different place today. <laughs> I'm tired. I got to go to work in a little bit. That's what it is. <laughs> but yo, check us out on all the social medias as always. Facebook, Spotify, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, yes. CastBox, Deezer, mm-hmm. basically Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, everywhere. Yes. You can get a motherfucking podcast. Go check us out. Mm-hmm. Hit us up on uh, in the DMs with ideas. Tell us how you feel about the show. Uh, Instagram account coming soon. We're just waiting for for Chocolate Swapper Mente to change the password. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Ari. I might see him today, I think, because yeah. we have a whole day hey, rock concert. You better give me the goddamn passwords, man. I'm comfy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to come for you, but free. Give me the passwords, man. Yo, I hope that beekeeper guy ain't there at this rock concert today. The beekeeper? I, I didn't tell you that story. Before. Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> I was trying to help you make that honey. Oh, man. Have it all drizzle and drip. <laughs> 
It's, you know, it just doesn't sound like a hetero type conversation when, when you really when you really hear the story. Yeah. It doesn't sound that hetero. Hey, we go we go maybe you'll tell the story offline. Yeah. Missy, thanks for coming on the show. We Thank appreciate you. you. I'll come by anytime. Yes, indeed. And uh, we'll check you out to your next uh, Saturdays. Small Business Saturdays, Black Friday. Everybody have a great Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Eat like you uh, like you're never gonna eat again, and then and be thankful for the people that you're actually having a meal with. You know, yeah. don't stop picking fights and stay away from the politics. Just enjoy their company that you can still have them on the earth with you. Yo, and if you don't like a motherfucker, just don't invite them. Yeah. Eat by yourself. <laughs> be like, fuck you, you can't come. Be honest. Yeah, don't. You're like, I don't like you. I'm not coming to your house. Don't cook vegan beans like, in the bacon grease. I don't, no, don't do right? that. Don't do that. I don't like raisins. I don't like raisins in yeah. my in my potato salad, Karen. So I'm not coming to your house. <laughs> what? No, no raisins in the potato salad, motherfucker. Who does that? Karen. Karen. Oh, she shouldn't. <laughs> I, I don't know why Karen has just become that lady. You know, it should be Carol. Like, how many how many young people you know named Carol now? Carol's definitely an older name that's going to yeah. be obsolete, like uh, Beatrice. Beatrice. <laughs> Beatrice and Gertrude. And Gertrude. And, yeah. and Matilda. Matilda. And Matilda. Yeah, who named that kid Matilda? Phyllis. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> Phyllis is a sexy name. I'm, I'm not going to get into that right On now. that note. Well, well, that's a whole other On that note, that's a different. That's a whole different. <laughs> that's, we're going to talk about this one next week. Uh, <laughs> No, she doesn't. No, my mother doesn't. And my mother wouldn't even appreciate talking to them either. That, right? That's the Saturday Conversations. Head next week. We Dislocate out. Dislocate your hip, Phyllis. <laughs>